Merry Christmas, everybody. My name is Hope. I'm the online and social media pastor here at Northwoods, and I am so excited to welcome you to Christmas at Northwoods. You know, there is so much that happens behind the scenes to make the Christmas production happen, and I'm very excited to give you special backstage access before we kick off the show today. So let's get ready and head backstage. All right, hey guys, I'm backstage with Bo. He is in charge of our flight crew and Kirk Kirk, you do everything. You really yeah. do. You, he does the stage design. You sing. I mean, over the years, who knows what you haven't and done for this show. I hit my head on show. a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I just am excited for them to share a little bit about what happens backstage and building the stage. So to start us off, Kirk, I mean, really, when do you start getting the stage ready? This this stage design started actually back in 2019. Oh my well, it's goodness. It's going to be for 2020. You see what happened there. So <laughs> so we started a long time ago. Probably yeah. as soon as the production's over, we start to thinking, thinking, dreaming of what's going to yeah. happen. So it started that long ago. But we uh, commissioned a, a company to build the set that you are going to see tonight. Yeah, it's pretty and, incredible. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of steel, <laughs> a lot of man hours. I bet you there's probably at least 200 man hours in oh, building it. Oh, my goodness. And then for us to put it together and build Put it onto our stage. That's probably another 100 hours, man hours. Oh Easy. I'm trying not to exaggerate. So it's probably a lot more. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of people, a lot of help to make this happen. You're going to love it tonight. Yeah. It's really incredible. It's really cool. And then we also have the flight crew. And we're not going to say exactly what you can expect. But if you've been to the show before, you know that uh, there's some flying that happens. And, Bo, that's kind of what you, you're you in charge of, right? Yeah. I've been the flight director for five or six years. Wow. And my job is to get the volunteers to come and help uh, those that have seen before. We have flown drummers in the past. We've flown angels. Yeah. Uh, so basically getting the volunteers, getting them trained uh, yeah. to make sure that they're, everything is safe. And uh, yeah. we have we currently have like eight volunteers that will be at every show. And then we okay. have three backups uh, yeah. in case something happens. And everybody's been trained on uh, all the different apparatus. So cool. It's awesome. You guys, even some of what you can see back here is what they oh, need for the flights. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep some of it a secret, but we That's know how you're that gonna... happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know you're going to enjoy it. So thank you guys so much. We'll get to the next group of people. All right, guys. Well, I'm back here with Matt and Bernard and Amy. They are on our band and vocal team, and they're just going to tell us a little bit about what does it even look like to put together this many vocalists, this many band members, and honestly, even how many band members and vocalists are there? I feel like every time I go out on stage, I see more members of the band. So <laughs> you're going to put us on the spot with that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, uh, off the top I of my head. I think there's 13 in the band. Yep. Wow. And there's about 21 maybe vocalists. Okay. Man. So it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how do you put all of that together? Yeah, I think for the band, uh, we kind of start probably individually working on the music September, October. Wow. And uh, then we start having some core band rehearsals in November. Um, and then it kind of progresses from there. And then it really all comes together, like Bernard getting here uh, for Tech Week. Um, and then he's yeah. just kind of guiding the whole band, and it kind of comes together in that week before, yeah. before the production. Yeah. Bernard, why don't you tell well, us a little bit about what you do? It helps when you have great musicians to work with. Peoria has some of the finest musicians Aww. and singers, <laughs> Thank you. and they all happen to be at this church. Bernard is a guest of ours, if you yes. didn't catch yeah. that. He's yeah. here from Nashville with his wife. Yep, so uh, we're just glad to be a part. This is probably my sixth or seventh year, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. But every year it gets better and better. Not that this show is bad at all. <laughs> this show is, is just blows my mind from when I come in from the first day of seeing the setup to listening to the music yeah. and getting the vision that uh, the team have put together. Yeah. So I get to come in and just kind of put the icing on the cake. Yeah. And you know, the icing is sometimes the easiest thing to put on the cake, but the cake is prepared before I get here. <laughs> and we hope that you like the slice that you get. Yeah, yeah. And Amy, what about the vocal team? What's yeah, that Yeah, like? so once we get the music from the, our director, you know, she really kind of crafts the Yeah, the yeah show. they're going to meet Dawn here in a yes. little bit. <laughs> and so once we get the music, um, we do start our rehearsals pretty early in the fall. This year we started mid-September with yeah. weekly rehearsals. And so, um, you know, I guess before that we kind of have to figure out who's singing on what song because all 21 mm -hmm. of us don't sing on every song, of course. <laughs> Thank um, goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's just kind of a bit of a jigsaw puzzle putting together, like, 
who's yeah. coming when and what time and make sure you're here for the right song. But um, yeah, yeah. we do have great volunteers who always show up yeah, prepared and who just do an awesome job um, learning, learning their music and working hard to, to sound great. And so yeah. it's just a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. We're going to take you to the next group and our next behind the scenes sneak peek. Okay, guys, I am here with Rebecca. She's our choreographer. And how many years have you choreographed the show? This will be my fifth year. Okay, that's what I was thinking, about as long as I've been in the show. So awesome. Well, what does it take to choreograph the show? It does take a lot. Um, <laughs> it's a I'm lot sure. of time, but um, I really start with the music. Yeah. I will listen to the songs on repeat, um, really get an idea yeah. of what I want the dances to look mm -hmm. like. Um, I then start to think about like what emotions I want okay. um, people to feel with the different dances. Sometimes yeah. uh, the dances will bring joy to people. I hope mm -hmm. to bring a smile to their face. <laughs> um, sometimes the dances are um, an opportunity for people to really reflect. And then also yeah. um, just a chance to tell a story. So yeah, I love it. Yeah. Does Dawn speak into that? Do you guys sit down together yeah, and yeah. go through some of that? Definitely. I get some of Dawn's notes and... Um, we talk, we meet and go over some of the thoughts she has for the show yeah. and different fun elements. Awesome. And we kind of talk through some things and very cool. Yeah. Do you have a favorite dance this year? Oh, um, I really like heavenly host and I love go tell it. Okay. Awesome. Yes. So there you go. Those are the dances to watch out for. My favorite is with, I don't know if you guys can see these snowflake costumes we have around us, but there are all kinds of fun costumes. So we're going to have a great time. I hope that you guys enjoy the dancers. Let's get to the next one. All right, everybody. Well, we are here with Dawn, the show director, and Pastor Cal, who you all know. Um, and I'm so excited. They're just going to share some different things about the show and the heart of the show. But Dawn, I was hoping you could just tell us, what does it even take to pull off something like this? Sure. So I usually start sometime in February and March. The year Ooh, before. The year before. Oh, my goodness. Listening <laughs> to lots and lots of music and starting to choose what it's going to feel like, look like building the yeah. set, thinking about what I want on stage, and all the extracurricular that's going to happen around yeah. all of that. So usually I start in February, March. I get the team together midsummer, okay. and then we start building from there. Rehearsals wow. usually start in August. Yeah. Oh, my You're goodness. You're usually not recovered until February or March. That's true. <laughs> I don't from think I ever fully one. recovered. <laughs> You're just always in Christmas and month, yes. pretty much. And yes. the only bad thing about doing a really, really good production <laughs> is, like, isn't it it's almost... Self-defeating because it's like, now, now what, what do we do? Now yeah. what do I do? Yeah. So what have so been some of those, like, your favorite uh, moments for mm. either of you in oh, years past? Sure. My standout would definitely be the year we did. The show title was called Hope. And we took our whole crew to New York City. Oh, wow. And wow. we shot the bridge in Central Park. So that was how we opened. <laughs> and we duplicated that bridge, the set, uh, on stage. Oh, my goodness. So we transitioned from video to live. That's awesome. So that was my favorite for sure. Yeah, yeah there have so been cool. so many spectacular moments over the course of the years, but <laughs> mm -hmm. my, mine really come back to moments in songs. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe somewhere close to where I'm going to be up to speak and just there's just been some moments that I'm going, oh my goodness, if hearts don't open tonight, something's wrong because you just sense God's here mm -hmm. yeah. and there's something amazing happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. You talk about God being here and feeling that. Yeah. You know, I know that that's part of why why we do this. How did the Christmas production even get started at Northwoods? Well, I would I would say that because we were a um, a Willow startup, mm -hmm. drama, productions, mm -hmm. different things like that were always a part of our DNA. But we didn't know how to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Till Dawn came along and said, <laughs> "I can do that. I can do it." Give yeah. me a little bit of a budget. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, we had that in our DNA just mm -hmm. to um, capture the imagination of people that maybe were unchurched by yeah. doing something mm -hmm. that's a little, it's maybe not churchy, but the message is there. Yeah. And, you know, Christmas, we go, who, who, who doesn't, you know, have a little sense of that spirit about them? And, yeah. And, uh, man... I, it, it was several years like, when can we do a production? And I'll never forget that first one. You had people <laughs> ice skating up there. Oh we God. had a big horse coming in <laughs> yes. with a sleigh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just remember sitting there going, this is what I imagined. <laughs> I think wow. we were probably 13, 14 years in. It was yeah. 2003 or four yeah, was kind I of in the... 2004. Okay. But mm -hmm. that was like our 14th year of our, wow. our church. And 
I'm telling you, it, it, it took off because we were just seeing thousands of people come through the doors. It was really, you're only limited by as many productions as you want to do. Mm -hmm. Sure. You want to do five, you want to do six, you want to do eight, you want to do 10. Mm -hmm. And we've gone yeah. all the way up to 11. We have. And seen over 30,000 people. So that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing. Incredible, yeah. incredible. So mm -hmm. for the people who are watching this, you know, what is it that you hope they get out of tonight? Mm. Well, if they don't know Jesus, yeah. I'm, I'm praying that there'll be some who just even in the privacy of their own home will understand yeah. why he came. Beyond that, we know it's possible as believers to live with disappointment in our life. We've all had those moments of mm -hmm. why God didn't you show up? Yeah. COVID has really hit that. I mean, I've, I could talk story after story after story uh, this year in my own life. Uh, not all necessarily related to COVID, but several. And the issue was we were praying, we were praying, we were praying, we were thinking we we're on the other side, and then you do a funeral. Mm -hmm. And there's no good explanation other than, well, we're not home yet, but there's a lot of disappointment in the heart. And it just feels like God, God didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And I'm really hoping that people will take that little tagline today, you know, and uh, 400 years of silence before Jesus comes. Yes. He's nowhere to be seen. God's nowhere to be heard. He's nowhere to be found. And you wouldn't blame people if they just said, God is nowhere. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the atheist said one day. To a little five-year-old was reading the sign on his wall. He was just learning to read. And he said, God is now here. <laughs> <laughs> and it transformed. It's the, all the same letters, but where you put the break. And I'm going, what I hope people get is after 400 years of silence, God spoke into that God is nowhere and transformed it into God is now here. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to know, no matter what you're going through, he's here yeah. to help you. He's here to sustain you. He's here to forgive. He's here to save. Yeah. That's so awesome. mm -hmm. to do it That's around awesome. all that music. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good time. I'm We're going to go have a lot of fun. It. So you guys, we are so glad that you're here and it's going to be so much fun. So awesome. We're going to have those moments like Pastor Cal talked about. And so we just invite you in to just sit down and take it all in. And we hope that you yep. enjoy tonight's show. So welcome to the show. <laughs>